So it's still quite early days at Patch of the Planet. Um, we've got a five acre small holding, but at the moment it's a big piece of pasture. Over the coming years, the plan is to transform this into a really high yielding, productive small holding, but we're at the early stages. And one of the key things we've got to do now is work out the lay of the land. You can see hopefully from behind me that it's a slightly sloping field. It's a, a south facing sloping field, quite high up near the Priscilla Hills in Wales. And uh, we need to understand what the contours are across this land. We need to understand where the land is sloping and how it's sloping. And that's so that we can do all sorts of things. We can understand how the water's gonna move around on the land and we can design for the water to move well in the land and how we can put that water to use. We can also design the windbreaks here, which are really important. We've got the, uh, the sea uh, about 30 miles away down on behind me, and that's bringing in uh, a constant flow of air. So we need to be able to protect the crops that we're going to grow up here. And we're going to do that with some windbreak design. We'll be doing videos on that. We'll be doing videos on the movement of the water and lots more to do with how we're designing the site. But right now we have to understand where are the contours, how is the land flowing? There are all kinds of ways that you can measure contours on a piece of land, very high-tech ways using drones. You can use maps and online maps. You can get contours on Google Maps and so on. Um, and there are much simpler ways. One of the ways that I like, and I'm going to show you today, is using an A-frame. I'll show you somewhere that's a bit less windy and a bit warmer how to make an A-frame in a second. But uh, in terms of how to use it, they're really wonderfully simple. You place one foot, on the ground and what I've got here is a line, a centre line, this marks out the centre point and so long as both feet are level this stone will pull this string down over the central point and that's where you'll know it's level. Now an easier way perhaps than doing that, this is kind of a traditional way, you'll see this a lot uh, on videos and in courses around using A-frames. A simpler way might be to use a spirit level. Secure a spirit level onto there and you'll get perhaps an even more accurate one. And one of the challenges with an A-frame is you're often using it out in the middle of a field like I am and it's often a bit windy like it is today and as you can see this stone's getting blown around a lot. Waiting for it to settle nicely in the middle without the wind blowing it around can take a bit of a while. Put a spirit level on there and once the bubble reaches the middle you know your land is level. So as you can maybe see, there's a line of poles that sticks along the field and something of a curve up towards the barn. That's the measurement of the contour that I've done so far. And we're just going to do a couple more now to show you how it works. So you start with one foot of the A-frame at the pole of the foot that you've most recently done. And then make the A-frame level by putting the other foot in the right place and checking on the spirit level. Or with the stone on the string, balancing in the centre line. Once it's level, leave the second foot in the same in the right place, in the same place as it was, and spin it. Once it's level, leave that second foot in the position it's in, and then spin the A-frame round so the first foot is on the other side, and then move it around again until it's level, until the spirit level finds the midpoint or the stone hangs down. Then again, spin it again, and so on. So what you need to do then is to decide um, the distance between the different stakes that you're going to put in the ground. Every two or three meters might be a good idea. Every time that you've spun the A-frame, two or three times, put a stake in the ground. And then as you do that, over the distance of the land that you're measuring, you'll start to see the contour form. Okay, I started this video, it's beautiful blue skies, it's now starting to spit with rain and it's getting even colder. It is, uh, it is January, so I will pop indoors into a garage or something and we'll look at how to actually put an A-frame together. Okay, I'm in the barn now and I'm going to show you how to put an A-frame together. So this whole patch of the planet thing that we're doing is about us trying to return to simplicity in a way and that's why we love the A-frame so much because it is so basic to make, it's so simple to use, all you're really doing with, is interacting with gravity. So 
I'll show you how to make it. All you really need to do is get a few bits of wood. You've got two long poles at the same length. Uh, these two are 175 centimeters long or 69 inches. Um, they can be about that sort of length. They do need to be the same length so that you can get the balance on a level piece of land. And then there's one shorter piece of wood which is going to create the A by securing across the center. Uh, that's 65 centimeters wide or 25 and a half inches. And what we can do first of all is secure these two long pieces at the top just by crossing them over and then putting a few screws in. If you're going to use a string and weight method to find the level rather than the spirit level, then put one central screw in the middle, right in the middle at the point that the two beams cross, and leave it slightly proud sticking out so you can tie string around that easily. Now to make sure that you actually find a level with your A-frame rather than a wonky, you need to make sure that the cross uh, piece of wood is level against the A-frame when the A is standing level on the ground. To do that, just measure the same point down from the very centre at the top, down each side, and screw that cross beam in at the same distance. So here I've measured, I think it was 65 centimetres down on each side, and then as long as you're two long uprights of the same length, then if that cross beam goes down at the same, the same distance on each side, it will be perfectly level when it's on level ground. Your hanging stone or your spirit level will show you a nice level point. And if you want to use the hanging bob, the hanging string with the weight underneath, then simply put the string around the, the screw that's protruding out, tie it round. Then put the A-frame onto some level ground. You'll need to find some level ground. Best way is probably to use a spirit level. Make sure you found some level ground. Then stand it up on there. Let the weight hang down. The string will then hang over the central point on the piece of wood. And you can mark that with a pen. And there you have it, a completed A-frame, and you know how to use it too now. It's not necessarily a thing of beauty, but it is a really, really useful tool for finding a contour on a piece of land. If you found that helpful, please do subscribe to the channel, or press like, or send me a comment if you've got any questions, and I'll put another video up soon. Thanks.